Hey, how you doing? It's Pastor Dan here, hanging out at the Kids Work Studio with my friend Leo. We're having some breakfast together, just chilling here. You know what? It's kind of lonely. You're not here. But you know what? We get to see you through our screen. We get to hang out with you every Sunday morning through these special videos. So you know what? I am so happy that you get to tune in every single week for worship, for a lesson, for special things that God has to teach us. You know what? We're happy that you can still be a part of our CCA CCH family this way. So thanks for joining us this morning. Hopefully you got something to eat, you've got some breakfast, maybe your comfy jammies, whatever you're doing, but just settle in, get comfy because we have a great morning together. We're gonna start off with a great song all the way back from VBS. So if you're ready, if you would, join us in some worship this morning and we'll see you back here in the Kids Work Studio in a few moments. Talk to you then. All right, everyone, I need you to repeat after me for this song. Thank you, God, for saving me. Thank you, God, for saving me. Rescue from the middle of the ocean deep. Rescue from the middle of the ocean deep. You set my feet on solid ground. You set my Welcome back, everyone. Hopefully you liked the music and you got a little more awake. Hopefully you are wide awake and ready to listen to our special lesson times and our teaching times and what God has to say to us this morning. You know what? We are continuing to talk about the same thing. Whether you are in preschool or in elementary, we're talking about this idea of God being a creator, a designer, a maker. That God created, made, and designed you just the way he wanted you to be, but also as a reflection of who he is. In our morning time with our preschoolers, we're going to continue to talk about this idea of saying cheese. 
right? We're going to continue to talk about this idea that you are a picture of who God is. How you act, the way you look, but even more so how you treat others. We're going to talk about being a helper this morning. So in our Say Cheese time, we're going to talk about a special woman from God's Word that was a helper to her friends, to her family, and God was so happy with the way she treated others and what she was willing to do to help them. In our elementary time, in our Indescribable series, we're going to also talk about being a helper for God. We're going to talk about a group of friends who did a hard and creative thing in order to make sure that their friend got to meet Jesus. It is a special lesson. It's a special story that I absolutely love. It's one of my favorites of all time because it's about people being creative, using their creativity to make sure that people get to know Jesus. Both of our lesson times this morning are so important for us right now, especially with all that's going on in our world. We gave you some special challenges last week about doing just what we're talking about this morning, finding creative ways to encourage and to help others. That's why I'm so excited to let you listen in on these two special lesson times this morning. And as we get started, Let's get back into one more worship song before we get into our two special teaching times this morning. We'll see you after this break. I love the way that God made me Wake up in the morning and I wiggle my toes Wiggle my toes oh, oh. I stretch out my arms and I'm scratching my nose Scratching my nose oh, oh. So I clap my hands stomp my feet Because I love the way that God made me I move my head and shake my knees Because I love the way that God made me Hey, preschool friends, we are happy that you are back joining us. Hopefully you had a great time of worship for both of our worship songs and you are ready to listen in on what God has to teach us. You know what? We are going to remember and go back to our special verse that we've been practicing every single week. Have you been practicing it at home? Have you been talking to your mom and dad and showing off your muscles with our special verse? Are you ready? It says, I am fearfully and wonderfully made, right? That has been our special verse. And this morning, we're going to talk about using our muscles, right? Feel them. You got any muscles? Yep, I got a few, maybe a little, right? But we're going to talk about is how we use how strong we are to help others. You know, whether we're strong with our mind, we're really creative, we love doing cruel things. Maybe we're strong, we can pick up 
really big things and carry some stuff around the house, we're going to talk about being a helper, using our strength to help people around us. We have a special story about a lady named Tabitha. Can you say the word Tabitha? That's a kind of a, a cool name, huh? I love that name. Tabitha was a special helper. She loved doing special things and being creative in helping others around her because she believed that she was fearfully and wonderfully made, that she could do special things. You know what? What she did, she made special clothes for her friends. You know what? At the beginning of the school year, beginning of the fall, we get ready for the next season and your mom and dad get to take you out and buy you special clothes. But you know what? Some people can't go to a store to buy clothes. So Tabitha was one of those special people that would help people make clothes. She would make clothes for the people around her who couldn't afford to go to the store. They needed something to keep them warm. They needed something to be special. Then go out special places. And you know what? Tabitha was that special woman. And she made clothes. So look down. What, what are you wearing? Maybe it's pajamas like we talked about a few moments ago. Maybe you got a little dressed up today. Maybe after this is all over, your mom and dad maybe take you out someplace special to eat and you want to put on something special. And so in this story we're going to hear about in a moment, we're going to hear about Tabitha being a helper by being creative, by making something for somebody else. We'll I'll talk to you a little more about that in a moment. Let's join Ollie and his friends at the clubhouse as we learn about Tabitha and about being a special helper for God. Who? Who? You know what time it is? It's time to hear a story. Friends, it's me, Lucy. The wind must have blew through the clubhouse because all of our pictures fell off the walls. What am I going to do? What a mess! How am I going to clean all of this up? It's too big of a job for me. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Lucy. Who? Who? You look like you are feeling blue. Hi, Ollie. I sure am. The wind knocked all of my pictures off the walls. There's no way I can clean them all back up. That is a big mess. It's true. But there is something you can do. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Hola, friends. Hello. I'm Luis, the handyman. Good to see you. I'm just fixing this radio for my aunt, Marisol. It's been broken for a while, so I offered to help fix it for her. That reminds me of a story. Do you want to help me build it? <laughs> Great. Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down now. Now, we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible is about a woman named Tabitha. Tabitha loved God and helped people by making them clothes which was good because lots of people needed help. There you go, guys. Wow, great job, Tabitha. <laughs> you helped a lot of people. Did you know God made you and me to help people too? 
That's right. Whether you're a grown-up or a kid, you can help. Even if you can't sew like Tabitha, do you think God could use a kid like you to help others? <laughs> of course, yes. Let's think of things you can do to help. Hmm. You can draw someone a picture to make them smile. You can play toys with your little sister or cousins or neighbors. You can help clean up after dinner. You can give someone a hug and tell them you love them. You can help in so many ways, no matter how old you are. God made you to help. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who made you? God made me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made you? God made me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. So there's your story. It's all true. No matter who you are, you can help too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? What a great story. God made everyone to help. No matter how old we are, we can help. That means you can help and I can help. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Even though I am small, I can do this big job and pick the pictures up and hang them back up. Can I take one last picture of you? This time, give a thumbs up for being a happy helper. Are you ready? Say cheese! Awesome! I'll see you guys later. Bye! Hey preschoolers, how did you like our story? I love the story of Tabitha. You know what, it is so great to hear about someone who's willing to help. Right now I'm cleaning up the, the kids work studio a little bit, making sure that it's all cleaned up. I wanna make sure that I can help around the church, make sure that we take care of what God's given us here at church. You know what, the story of Tabitha is about a special woman who gave what she had to others. She took the material, the cloths, the stuff that she had around her house to make sure that she could make clothes for those people who need it. Maybe you're wearing a special outfit right now. Maybe you're out of your pajamas finally. Maybe you're hanging out watching this. And you know what? You're thinking about Tabitha, our special story we just heard. See, it's always good to be a helper. It's always good to look around your world and see what needs to be done. Here at the Kids Work Studio, there's some things that need to be picked up this morning before I went back to my office, and I wanted to make sure that I was a good helper. What about you? Is there something around your house? Maybe around your school? Do you go to preschool or daycare? Do you go to someone's house, maybe a grandma and grandpa's house, and they watch you during the week? Can you find a way to be a good helper? See, God's made you special, but also God's made you strong, right? Our big muscles. We're fearfully and wonderfully made. That you know what? We're made to be strong. And God's given us strength so that we can help people around us. Our strength is not just to help ourselves, make sure that we take care of and do fun things for ourselves. But you know what is so much fun? Is making sure that we can use our strength to help others. What I want you to do is I want you to think about it this week, preschoolers. What are some ways that you can be a good helper around your house? Maybe you can pick up. You can help around the house. Maybe you can help with the dishes. You know what? How people love to eat. I love snacks. But you know what? It's good to clean up after our snacks, even after our meals. Maybe your mom or your dad make a good meal. And you can say, hey, you know what? I'm willing to take and put away the dishes. I'm willing to even help clean up a little bit and put them put in the dishwasher. That would be so incredibly helpful. Maybe there's some ways just to cheer people up. Maybe it's not a way to help them physically. Maybe it's some way to help them with the way they feel. You can make a special picture for your mom or your dad, or maybe a special person in your life, a grandma or grandpa, or even a neighbor. Maybe there's something you can do this week 
just to help out. And that's what the story today was about, was about Tabitha being willing to help people around her who needed help. You know what? We're going to do one more song because we want to celebrate. We want to sing. So you have not got up yet. This is your opportunity to get up, stand up, and sing because we're about to have a good time together as we wrap up our morning. Talk to you very, very soon. Hey, preschool friends and moms and dads, we are happy to join you this morning. I am so glad that you tuned in or whenever you're tuning in on Sunday morning or even throughout the week that you're enjoying these videos. Thank you for all of your fun pictures and encouraging emails. We love being a part of this church family, but we want to be a part of your family. I've included my email right here so that you can email me and let me know how things are going on with your family and also how we can help you. We want to serve you. We know there's a lot of things happening in a lot of homes with the pandemic and with all that's happening with schools and even sometimes with jobs. So please feel free to email me and tell me about what is going on. We want to help. We want to serve you. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Hope you enjoy the video. Once again, feel free to, to share the video with everyone. you want. And also make sure that you download all the resources, as we mentioned, to make sure that you can have conversations and activities throughout the week based on our special teaching times on Sunday morning. We will see you very, very soon. Have a great week.